this is amazing. Now we are going to see how you can create custom dataset from Llama 3.1, 405 billion parameter and Nimetron 4, 340 billion parameter from NVIDIA. As we can see, both of these two models, Llama 3.1 and Nimetron, these are large language model, mainly focused for creating synthetic dataset. In this mainly, we'll be focusing how you can create custom dataset for instruction fine tuning. So as a user input, we are just going to provide with one topic. So from that one topic, Llama 3.1, that is going to create subtopics. Then after that, we are going to create questions for each of the subtopic. Then again, we are going to use the Llama 3.1 to generate responses. That is two responses. Then finally, we are going to filter the quality of the response by using Nematron reward model. This is completely different from the normal Nematron model. Finally, we'll create a data set and save that in hugging face like this. Then this data can be used to fine tune the large language model for instruction fine tuning. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you how you can create custom data set for instruction fine tuning. That is also called synthetic data set because we are not creating the data set. The large language model is creating those data sets. As you can see in the model itself, these large language models such as Nimetron 4340 billion parameter model is specifically designed to create synthetic data. Similarly, Llama 3.1 405 billion parameter model advanced LLM for synthetic data generation. So we need to use these models to its full advantage. That's what we are going to learn in this tutorial, how to create synthetic data set by just providing one topic. In this, we can use Nimetron 340 billion parameter interchangeably with Llama 3.1. And here we are creating two responses because towards the end, we can also use this data set for preference fine tuning. So what is instruction fine tuning? You provide a question and teach the large language model that it should respond like this. Similarly, when you provide multiple questions, it is able to learn from that. So that is instruction fine tuning. So what is preference fine tuning or preference optimization? You provide a question to a different answer and then tell the large language model the preferred response. So in this mainly, we are going to focus how you can create an instruction fine tuning data set. And then towards the end, you should be able to configure this to get preference data set as well. I'm going to take you through step by step how you can set this all up. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. First step, in your terminal, pip install OpenAI datasets rich and then click enter. Using OpenAI SDK, we are going to load the large language model and using datasets, we are going to upload the dataset to Hugging Face and using rich, we are going to print in a clear format in the terminal. So after this, export your Hugging Face token like this. This you can generate from huggingface.co. This is used to upload your dataset to Hugging Face. After this, export NVIDIA API key like this and then click enter. So we are going to load the model from NVIDIA. To do that, go to build.nvidia.com and there you should be able to see all these models available here. And you should be able to test this model. If you are happy, you are able to deploy these models using NVIDIA NIM, which I have covered in a completely different video, which I have linked that in the description below. So if I click this model, then you should be able to create your API key and you have different steps to run this model for testing purpose. So here we got Nimetron 4340 billion parameter model and also Llama 3.1 405 billion parameter model. This is the Nimetron 4340 billion reward model. So this reward model is going to analyze the response and give you scores like this. Using this, we are able to filter the response for high quality. So that's why this reward model is really powerful. So after that, create a file called app.py and let's open it. So inside the file, from rich, import print. Next, import OS, open AI, dataset, dataset, dict, load dataset, JSON. Then we are going to provide the topic that is machine learning. So you can modify this topic as per your requirement. So as you can see in this image, first, the user is going to provide one topic. So we are going to create multiple questions, multiple answers, and multiple subtopics from one topic. So in my case, I'm giving machine learning. The number of subtopics to number of questions too. That's because I want to keep this tutorial quicker. Later, you can modify this, maybe give 20 or 200. 
based on your requirement. Next, we are going to load the OpenAI client, client OpenAI. There, we are mentioning the base URL, that is NVIDIA's base URL, and then NVIDIA API key. As you can see here, the first step is to generate subtopics. Step number one, subtopics generation. So here, we are going to provide the topic generation prompt template. So here, we can see, we are asking, given a topic, generate a list of subtopics. So in this case, n topics, that is two. So I'm asking two subtopics and providing the main topic. The list must be without numbers and without any description of the subtopics. So just the basic prompt template, that's it. So next we are going to create a function called generate subtopics. So here we are providing the prompt, the model name, that is Llama 3.1. Here is the task which we are providing to create subtopics with the temperature, top P and max tokens. Return response, that's it. Next, just triggering that function by calling generate subtopics, providing the client, the one topic, and the number of topics to generate. Finally, we are printing that for our reference. That's it. Step number one complete of generating subtopics with just one bit of code. Next, step number two, generating questions. So in this code, step number two, questions generation, providing the same prompt template as before. But now we are asking you to generate questions from the topic provided, that is the subtopic. Next, we need to get the subtopic list. This subtopic list is from the previous response we created. Then we are going to create a function called generate questions. Here again, we are providing the prompt, the model name, and the response. Same as before, just printing for our reference. Next, going to create another function. This for question generator. So here we are triggering the generate questions function. Just because we have multiple subtopics, we are going to loop through each and every subtopic in this line and then generate question for each subtopic and then save that in the questions list. So in this line, we are going to trigger this function and this function is going to trigger the previous function. So here we have the list of topics, that is subtopics, then those subtopics will be used to generate questions. Finally, printing for our reference, that's it. So step number two is generating question just by providing prompt and looping through the subtopics, we are getting all the questions. Now step number three, generating responses, that is answer generation. Same as before, just giving the prompt template, that is response prompt template. Here we are asking you to generate two responses from the question provided. Next, creating another function called generate responses. Same as before, passing the prompt templates and returning the response. It's all the same pattern, but we are repeating it so that it's easy for us to understand. Next, response generator function. Again, we are going through every single question and then generating the response in this single line. Next, we are triggering the response generator function like this. Then we need to format the data which we collected because we collected subtopics, questions, and two responses. Now we are going to format all together, combine those things. So we are creating a list called question response pair. So question and response together. So here we are going to loop through those question and answer with the for loop like this. And we are just providing the question here, response A and response B. Next, we need to write this in a file. So with open synthetic data, that's where we're going to save the data, both the question and the responses. Now the final step is to filter only the quality response. So we are going to see how this reward model is going to work by just giving an example prompt. So here I'm going to provide messages. So in the messages, the user says hello and the assistant says, hello, how can I help you today? So we need to find the quality of the response. To do that, we are going to use the model, that is the reward model, just calling NVIDIA slash Nimitron 340B reward, providing the messages, that is this list, just to know how this response is going to look like. And then we are going to print the response for our reference. Next, we are going to create another function called generate scores from response. So basically, when you pass a response here, it will automatically get the response, that is the parse the data which is received from this model. Next, going to create another function. So I'm grouping this as function just for us to do multiple loops, which means we are able to create loads of data sets. It could be thousands. Next, I'm going to create a function called get response and scores. So here I'm providing the question and the response content. This is the large language model created question and the large language model created response. And we are going to get the response scores using this function. Now going to create the final function, which I'm going to add that here. So this is process question response pass. So this is the main function 
which will use the reward model, loop through all the questions and the responses which got generated before, and all the scores will get stored in this list. So we are going to take a copy of the list and we are going to extract the scores for every single response using this get response and scores function. That's it. Now the last step. Here we are going to save that in a file called synthetic data with scores filtered. That means if the helpfulness score is less than the threshold, that is 3.0, then that will skip that response. In this way, we are going to filter only the high quality response. Then to upload this in Hugging Face, loading the data again, then using this push to hub function and providing my username and the dataset name. That's it. You can modify with your username and your dataset name. Now we are ready. I want to quickly take you through the code once more. First, we are creating subtopics. Second step, we are generating questions. Third step, we are generating answers. Then fourth step, we are looping through the question and the answer one by one and then getting the score for every single row from the reward model. So once we get the score, we are saving only the response which got high score more than 3.0. That's it. Now I'm going to run this code. In your terminal, Python app.py and then click enter. Now you can see the main topic is machine learning. And from that, it created two subtopics, supervised learning and unsupervised learning. And from that, it's creating two questions for each subtopic. So here's the first question, and here's the second question. Here's the third question, and here's the fourth question. Then we are putting everything in the list, all the questions. Then we are going to generate two responses, response A and response B. As we can see here, first we created subtopics from the machine learning topic. Then for each subtopic, we are generating two questions. Now we are in the step where we are going to generate two responses, as you can see here response A and response B. Now it comes to the fourth step of the reward model. So here is a response from the reward model and it contains helpfulness, correctness, coherence, complexity and verbosity. So this model, a reward model is going to reward every single question and answer and give a score. If the threshold is more than three, then it's going to accept. Save that in a file. As you can see here, synthetic data with score filtered 3.0 and you got the response and the question and all the values here. Even we can see that it got uploaded to Hugging Face, which you can see here, it got uploaded just a minute ago. Now you are able to use this data set and fine tune the large language model. There's one more thing. We use Llama 3.1 for subtopics, questions and response generation, but you can replace this with Nematron as well because each large language model has its own type of synthetic data. So it will differ. In that way, you can double the amount of data creation. You can just change that to NVIDIA Nimitron 340B Instruct in the model. And all the model generation, that is the question, answer, and subtopics will be by Nimitron. And you have multiple amount of data to train your model. The main reason we need synthetic data is that we don't have loads of data available. By using this process, you are able to create large amount of data to fine tune your model. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.